continue. Going easy on me, huh? I assure you, Major, I am not. Continue. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Are you sure? Because it's usually me picking my butt up off the mat. Truthfully, I have not been sleeping much. And when I do, I've been having nightmares about the Wraith. Well, you're not the only one. It has not been so bad since my father was taken. According to Dr. Zelenka's calculations, we have less than one week before the Wraith arrive. I want options. I mean, besides crying ourselves to sleep. Well, not me. I haven't slept in days. And what do you have to show for your sleepless nights, Rodney? Well, since we got here, we've uncovered a number of defensive weapon systems beyond the shield. We what? think our best option is the control chip. I was going to say that. Yes, but you're taking too long, as usual. Yes, but the point is, this may not be our best chance. Name a better one. Gentlemen. Of course, like the shield, power will be our biggest problem. We haven't even been able to initialize the chariot, much less determine whether we can meet the power requirements to run it. OK, keep me posted. Sergeant Bates, where are we with our alpha site? We've completed the ground and aerial security sweep and are ready to begin establishing base camp. We're just awaiting final inspection by Major Shepard. Right after lunch. Good. Tail are the Athosians getting prepared for an evacuation? Yes, but many believe there is no other world that is safe from the Wraith. They want to stay? As we have heard from our allies and seen for ourselves, there are cullings happening all over the galaxy. My people have spent their lives hiding from the Wraith. Yes, well, the difference here being we do intend to destroy the city rather than let it fall in the hands of the Wraith. And if it comes to that, anyone left on the mainland will be cut off from the Stargate for good. But thanks to Rodney's discovery of the Gate's control crystal, we at least know we'll be able to take that with us and hopefully use it to access Earth again sometime in the future. We understand that, Dr. Weir. I'm sorry. I'm merely saying that the people of Athos wish you to know that if we are going to stay and fight, they too will help defend the city of the ancestors. Well, that is very honorable, but I... Oh, please. We can't possibly consider staying and fighting. Well, I disagree. I think it's entirely within the realm of possibility. There are tens of thousands of life-sucking aliens in highly advanced spaceships on their way here to destroy us. And we have, what, 200 people, most of whom are scientists? who've never even fired a gun before? Shockingly, it's the first time ever I find myself having to agree with Kavanaugh. All I'm saying is let's not give up just yet. Now, what was that we were supposed to all remember? Let me see, something important. Uh, oh, yes, that's right, the Alamo. Granted, you guys are scientists. No one's considering putting you guys on the front line, but science can turn the tide of war. Look at the A-bomb. Not exactly our proudest moment. The fact is the Wraith aren't here quite yet. And until that moment, I would like everyone to remain focused on what it is they do best. Like I said off the top, if there are any options, I want them. That's all. Okay.